Hello. Christy Afrovitti of Soul Journeys Radio and MyTrueEssence.net. And, uh, yeah, trying to catch up on uh, some of these videos. So trying to start with the ones that I get the most questions over. And uh, this one is uh, why I'm not vegan anymore. And, uh, honestly, <laughs> it's the label in itself. <laughs> Reason number one, like... Why do I have to have a label to eat the way I eat? You know, because then it's like, oh, my God, you're part of this club. And then people have all these expectations. And, you know, if you want some honey, then you have, you know, some, well, like 50 million mommies <laughs> trying to tell you, well, that's not vegan. And oh, you have a 20-year-old pair of leather shoes. And, you know, it's like this whole lifestyle that, hey, I totally respect people that, can do it, you know, 100% and want to do it, and um, not the Nazis <laughs> that just have turned it into this big crazy cult. Um, yeah, obviously that's not all vegans, but the, the cults exist. So anyways, that's another video. Um, but for me, becoming vegan or eating vegan, making those food choices was just something that happened naturally for me. Um, I, I healed myself, you know, cancer, lupus, um, stroke, seizures, diabetes insipidus. Uh, what else did I have? I can't even remember. It feels like another lifetime. I was paralyzed in the waist down in a wheelchair. Uh, um, yeah, anyways, whatever all those things, I healed myself from that stuff before I was vegan. And, um, you know, I just always kind of thought, well, why do we have to eat this stuff and didn't want to? So, and it, it was actually um, initially, which was a good thing, I couldn't afford, you know, to eat meat or feed myself and my children. So it was, you know, beans and rice and you know, more vegetables and a little bit of meat or eggs and stuff here and there, but not, you know, not a lot. And so it was, it was a really easy step, actually. Um, I never liked milk or things like that. I like a little cheese here and there, but I've never been a big, you know, cow pus person. It just seems weird to me. I just, I, I've never liked milk, so it wasn't something that I, you know, gave up or anything like that. Although, I did use heavy cream for my coffee. Today I use cashew cream. Nothing better than that, though. Um, and by the way, if you want to make your own, it's just to go look at my videos for the almond, make, almond milk video. And same thing, but substitute cashews. Um, oh man, it's creamy and delicious, but, uh, I just prefer plant-based foods. Um, I like a little fish here and there, never really been like a big meat person. So I didn't do it to join a cult or to be looked, you know, looked up on or for others to approve of me or to, you know, to fit into some kind of religion or anything, I just did it as a natural course of events. It just kind of happened. And then I'm like, wow, this is easy. I could probably go without ever eating meat again. I, you know, it's like really no big deal to me. Um, but recently I, uh, well, this is actually what happened. I started craving eggs which <laughs> for me is just weird because even pre-vegan days or pre-healing days, I never really, I didn't really eat a lot of eggs. I just thought it was weird to eat like chicken abortions. And I guess technically they're not abortions because, uh, you know, they're not fertilized and all of that good stuff. It's just, I guess, basically like our eggs that we lose every month in our cycle. Um, but Still, I don't know. I just thought it was weird my whole life. And then a couple months ago, I just started getting this craving. It's like, what the heck? Where is this coming from? So then I had like my minerals, you know, blood counts tested. And I guess I was low in like manganese and zinc and chromium and stuff. I was craving eggs and mushrooms. Yeah. And uh, so anyways, I found out I was low in theirs, and I'm like, oh, wow, well, that's crazy. Eggs and mushrooms are full of that. No wonder why I'm craving them. And, you know, I've always been a big proponent to tell everyone, 
eat what you crave. And, you know, I better explain this because somebody asked me on Facebook the other day. Um, when your minerals are in balance, when you're healthy, you're going to crave what you actually need. Instead, people think they crave, you know, hamburgers and French fries or something like that. And that's because they mimic feel-good hormones to where, yeah, you'll feel like it's a real craving and you have to have it, but the problem is your cells aren't being nourished, your body's not being nourished, and what happens? You're going to eat more and more and more and more and more thinking that these are these cravings, you know, because you need it, and that's not the case at all. When your minerals are in balance, you crave what you need, period. So I was craving mushrooms and eggs. Weird. Mushrooms has been another one that I've never really been big on my whole life. So anyways, I found out what I was lacking, and then I realized, oh, my God, that carries this. So, Christy, you have to really, you know, hello, take your own advice and pay attention to your cravings and eat it. When I was vegan, I'm like, oh, no, I can't eat that, you know. <laughs> right? Because I had this label or something that I had to adhere to, not to mention of cult of like 4,000 people on Facebook, uh, not mentioning any names, uh, mono, fruit, juice, fast, and tincture. You know, this is the only way to heal cult. And um, man, were they ruthless. Somebody even brings up the possibility of eating an egg and, oh, that's torture and you're hurting chickens and da 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 da. And I'm sure everybody can agree factory farming sucks. I agree. Absolutely. I don't support it at all in any way. That was another reason I quit eating any animal products because I didn't approve of that. And I didn't want to until I knew a local, somebody, you know, raising whatever it is, clean, humane, antibiotic, hormone, vaccine-free, all of that crap. Um... You know, which I did finally. So anyways, I'm like, cool, let's get some eggs. Let's just try it out, see what happens. Oh, my God. I think I ate them like five days in a row. Um, <laughs> haven't had any for like a month or something now. But, you know, that was a good lesson for me. And then um, I started craving tuna. Um, I don't know, about a month ago or something, and I couldn't figure that out. No, I'm vegan. I have a badge. And by the way, I got people that are going to beat me up if I eat it, right? <laughs> I know. I actually, I really cared less about the people beating me up because I think it's funny and pathetic and really freaking stupid. But um, <laughs> anyways, but still, you know, once you're like labeled with something, whether it's a disease or a political party or whatever, even if it's not true, there's like this expectation that you're supposed to fit in that box. So anyways, I got over that in like four minutes. Um, <laughs> So, um, anyways, I was craving fish, and, you know, apparently I didn't have enough omega-3s, and, you know, I could just kind of see it in my skin. It was just kind of dry, and I felt kind of lethargic, and then I ate tuna with eggs, by the way, and celery and pickles, and, oh, my God, it was amazing, and uh, I felt better. It's like I got that boost that I needed. And then, if you've been following my teeth videos about regrowing or remineralizing my teeth, um, I always had, like, the holes in the, I mean, my whole life, the sensitive teeth, all of that. And that's because I was going to doctors and taking all of their drugs. And then, you know, you find out after the fact that they cause all that, whatever. Sorry, it wasn't hygiene. I'm a Virgo dude. That's what we do. Okay, we keep shit clean, period. Um, so, you know, you can pawn it off on whatever you want, but the fact is that front gap where all that decay was, was not there until like the last, uh, what are we in? We're in, uh, like two, less, less than two years. Well, guess what happened in that time? My diet changed. I became vegan and I was too good to touch things like, you know, cod liver oil or uh, egg white or egg shells or things like that that could help me. Um, so I did notice a decay there, a decline there. But that is the thing. It's just because I'm not vegan doesn't mean I'm, you know, eating a standard American diet. In fact, most of you would be shocked at how little I actually eat. I juice. All day long. That's, that's, I don't eat a whole lot of food. And I mean, really, 
if I have uh, guests over or, you know, have an overabundance of something in my garden and I want to invite people over to, you know, make a nice meal or something. But, I mean, that's – I juice. I love to juice. I – smoothies. I love smoothies. I love salads. I love beans. I love – you know, how many, all types of beans, actually, peas, be, you know, that's, it's just natural, it's innate in me, it's what I like, it's just, it's the way it is, so, you know, I mean, like, chill out on the, oh my god, you ate fish, or <laughs> when I ate the woodchuck um, in July, which was my first time eating meat, and oh my god, and the last time, incidentally, and that was July, August, September, yeah, so October, so three months ago, um, like, I don't know, the judgments alone is another reason, because <laughs> I'm telling you, man, the way people act like that is just like one sure way to scare people away from whatever it is you're doing, and again, you know, I make my own choices, my own decision, that's not why I'm doing it, or, or doing anything, all I'm doing is allowing what my body feels it needs, I got salmon, um, I bought salmon and, and ate it last night for the first time. I, I don't even know how long. And it was awesome. And it was perfect. And my body thanked me for it. That doesn't mean I'm going to go eat factory farmed meat and destroy the planet every single day. Okay? It's just I want what's right for me. Denial doesn't work. Denial diet doesn't work. And I could have you know, been craving those eggs and mushrooms and never done anything about it and then been completely deficient, you know, completely run out of those particular minerals. And then what happens? Decline in health, okay? You can't deny it. And you can say, oh, eat more chickweed or, you know, something like that. But come on. If my body tells me I need an egg, I'm going to eat it and I'm not going to feel guilty. I really would like to encourage everyone Everyone to, I mean, again, I explained, if your minerals are out of whack, you're going to be craving all, or thinking you're craving all sorts of crazy junk food. Been there, done that. Okay, pound of peanut M&Ms and, you know, three pints of Ben and Jerry's after, you know, a bunch of French fries and a Diet Coke. And <laughs> so, you know, I understand those kinds of cravings. But I'm telling you, when your minerals are in balance and you have what you need, you're not going to crave that crap. It's just going to naturally go away like ice cream. I have no idea when the last time I ate ice cream was. And if I wanted ice cream, I give myself permission to have it, but I don't want it. So I don't know. I just think it's ridiculous to have to be known by a label. If you want to I mean, I don't even know what would my label be, pescatarian, because I'll eat fish once in a while, or maybe I'll eat a chicken once a year, or maybe I'll eat a woodchuck every 40 years. I mean, I don't know. What does that make me? And why does it even matter? I mean, really, right? Oh, why aren't you vegan anymore? And, you know, what'd you do? Why were you part of this group? Why did it... Jeez Louise, you know, aren't I... <laughs> I didn't know this was some super club that you're supposed to sign up for. And by the way, those attitudes and, like, pushing people away, that gets people – that that makes it look bad. People think, oh, my God, if I eat healthy, healthy, I'm going to act like that. Well, here's a question. All these foods that we think are, he are healthy, we don't even really – I mean, the only indicator we have is how we feel. We've never tested how much potassium is in a banana, so we don't know. It's hearsay. We are taking their word for it, whatever we read in a book, right? We've never tested personally, you know, how dangerous, uh, allegedly, coffee, eggs, or pork, or whatever all this stuff is for us, right? We're just taking their word for it. So, you know, I have to keep, I like to keep myself in check. So sometimes I'm like, wow. What if everything I thought I knew was wrong? What if chickweed really didn't have 29 milligrams of iron per half a cup? What if hot dogs really were good and fruit really was bad and I'm doing it all wrong? You know, I like to wipe my slate like that and just imagine those things. And, you know, all I have, my only truth is my own experience. So, yeah, 
I feel better when I'm eating fruit and vegetables, which I do every single day. Incidentally, it's just a part of my life. Like, hopefully it's, you know, you wipe your ass. I hope that's part of your life. Um, <laughs> we all urinate, right? So that... It's just, it's part of me. It's not going anywhere. I'm not leaving a club. I'm not supporting factory farms or, you know, any of these things. But all I have is my own experience. So, you know, ask yourself that. And, you know, to the people that are, like, doing all these rigid diets because you think it's going to make you healthy, how do you feel? That group I was in with, like, 4,000 people, all day, every day was like, help, I have this, help, I have that, you know, well, in between, you know, pictures of poop mucus and <laughs> urine sediment and things like that, but, um, <laughs> you know, if what you're doing is working for you, then you would be healthy and you wouldn't be complaining about these things. I can say right here, I'm healthy. I don't have those types of problems. Um, so whatever it is I'm doing works for me. And, you know, in regards, I guess I might as well just rant some more. Why not? Video is already too long. But uh, with the whole vegan thing, you know, beautiful, great, wonderful, raw foodists, fruitarians, breatharians, vegetarians, whatever. This is retardedarians. Do what's right for you. But if you really want to be in harmony with nature, you have to realize if you're living in Siberia, eating a 100%, you know, raw vegan diet isn't going to happen, okay? Not much fruit goes up, grows up there at all, if any, okay? So here you are talking about being vegan to save the planet, right? But you want a whole bunch of stuff shipped in from South America, <laughs> and then a lot of you, you know, expect it handed to you, or you expect, well, you know, it's just your entitlement, so you sit back and make your YouTube videos, you know, collecting welfare, and you know, cash from the taxpayers, so you can afford your expensive raw food diet. You know, I watch, I, I like that fully raw Christina, she's super cute, not talking shit at all, you know, she's cool and inspiring and fun and great, and, you know, she also lives in the South, though, so things like that are possible, but I watched her video, the uh, weekly raw food stash, and I added up all those ingredients to purchase here in Missouri, that would cost one person between eight and twelve hundred dollars a week for one person to get that food here, Okay, and most of it doesn't grow here, so we're getting it shipped in from elsewhere and, you know, at those astronomical costs, so when you're, like, railing on people for not being exactly like you, you know, you guys know who I'm, you know, you know, if you're listening to this video and getting mad, then I'm talking to you, but <laughs> it's not practical, and it's not in harmony with nature, God is not stupid. Shit blooms when it does because that's what we need in that type, that time of the year, okay? Like cold and flu season. Well, what's blooming then? Uh, citrus, uh, you know, all of these things with high in antioxidants and what's, blo what's blooming in the summer or the winter. You know, that's what we need, okay? So, a healthy diet is more than just food or juicing every day and sharing your poop on a group and, you know, considering it a badge of honor, okay? It's a total experience. And if you're going to be in harmony with your environment, you're going to eat what's in season mm -hmm, and what grows locally, okay? So, you know, expecting northerners to rely on astronomical shipping costs to get things, the same fruit from South America year-round, okay, just is a little bit disconnected from nature, okay, you hear me? I mean, I understand, I love oranges year-round, I love pineapple year-round, I would love to have grapes and watermelon year-round, but it's just not practical, it just, people can't do it. If you can do it, and you can afford it, or you live in a location where it grows locally, awesome, I love fruit, you know, I'm thinking of moving further south so I can eat 99% fruit instead of only 90, you know, but 
it's not practical, so lighten up, okay? Like, diet isn't everything. Having a label, wearing a badge, you know, and just, like, being all retarded on other people because they're not exactly like you. We all have our own paths. So if you don't want people ridiculing you, don't ridicule them. You're not any more spiritually evolved than them. Oh, yeah, that's one thing I wanted to mention. A lot of people think that they're going to be more spiritually enlightened for being vegan or raw or this and that. And I'm here to tell you, uh-uh. Mm -mm. I mean, I've always had a spiritual life and always um, been intuitive and this and that, but... No, it did not get any better. My antennas didn't perk up any higher. You know, they're the same, whatever. Maybe my hair grew a little, so maybe they're longer. But yeah, I didn't like turn into some instant Buddha because I ate raw foods or because I was vegan. Okay, so like get off your high horse. You are human, just like the rest of us. And no matter what you eat, uh, guess what? If you're eating, you're still human. So, <laughs> anyways, so, yeah, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. I was concerned about my tooth. I was concerned about the cravings and getting the minerals. And, you know, I can, I can, I can eat greens for the next 10 years and not feel any cravings of anything else, but, or, you know, feel like I have to have this or that. I mean, I never ate burgers. I never ate that crap anyways. I just, I don't like it, so... Get off my back. <laughs> okay. No, but I just, I feel really good now. I, um, I, uh, I did have, I went on a cheese kick for a little bit, and I had it, like, every single day for, like, ten days. I didn't really like that. That didn't feel too good for me. Um, but, you know, they, there's some really good raw cheese options, and, uh, fortunately, we do have some locals. I really liked this, oh, what was it called, like, Tipperay or something, like a smoked, uh, cheddar from Ireland. Oh, man, that was really good. But, again, I'm not a big cheese person anyways, so I eat vegan, mostly 90 plus percent of the time, but I'm not a vegan, and I don't want to be, and um, is that cool? Can we be friends, pretty please? <laughs> Again, I want to encourage you all to eat what makes you feel good, okay? Because that's what it's about. It's about ourselves. It's not about, you know, being part of a club or not about telling other people what to do. Tell yourself what to do because the more you're telling other people what they should be doing, um, that's time wasted when you really should be looking in the mirror and talking to yourself and maybe even asking yourself, well, why does it bother you so much? I mean, there was some of these things are so fanatical. There was a chick actually putting her dog, healthy dog, by the way, on a grape juice fast. Come on. Okay? <laughs> Talk about uh, humane treatment of animals is what? Playing God and pulling them out of their environment and habitat to make them, you know, be part of your club. That's kind of dangerous. You see how this works? Yeah. Dangerous. So think for yourself, please. Listen to all. Listen to everyone, take it in, see what works for you, file the rest away, whatever. But just because somebody says something doesn't make it true. Just because somebody says the only way you can heal your body is by doing mono fruit fasts and taking their tinctures does not make it true. Again, I healed myself way before I ever heard of any of this stuff, okay? And again, if it was working... Well, never mind. I've already said it. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> I'm not vegan, okay? Stop trying to put me in a box. I'm just Christy. I'm just a girl. I'm just on her path. That's it. Thank you. Good night.